It's only slightly bigger than the Moon, and it's the closest planet to the Sun. But until NASA's Messenger spacecraft arrived in Mercury's orbit in 2011, little was known about the planet. Since then, Messenger's seven scientific instruments have been feeding back volumes of data. It has a very massive uh, solid core of iron, similar to the Earth, but much bigger, it, it, proportionally bigger. And it is now almost sure that there is a liquid core also there surrounding this, this core in, in Mercury, which is producing a magnetic field, which is similar to the magnetic field of the Earth. Messenger revealed Mercury's moon-like surface in unprecedented detail, scarred by the collisions of asteroids and meteorites. It recorded surface temperatures fluctuating between minus 170 and plus 420 degrees Celsius, and it mapped ancient lava flows and discovered ice at the planet's poles, covered by a layer of dark, mysterious matter. The team has put forward the hypothesis that this dark material is in fact uh, organic, carbonaceous material delivered to Mercury by the same objects that brought the water ice probably from the outer solar system, not only of water ice, but of, of what on our planet were once uh, some of the building blocks of organic chemistry and life. Now the craft's fuel has run out, and NASA says it's powerless to stop gravity from dragging MESSENGER towards the planet. Its impact, at more than 14,000 kilometres an hour, adds another small crater to its already pitted surface. All these explorations of the planets in the solar system are giving us idea of uh, how the solar system was formed, how our planet came to be. So it's placing us in time and in space within the universe and within the, the confinement of the, of the solar system. Very important to know these things. This image, published hours before Messenger's demise, is one of many the research team says it will release in the weeks and months ahead. The next mission to Mercury by European and Japanese teams is not expected to arrive there until 2024. Until then, scientists will be working through the huge volume of data from MESSENGER, hoping to add even more detail to our knowledge of the planet. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.